Well, now as the world experiences a global proliferation, the risks of gamma radiation exposures are gradually increasing. Well, today with no existing equipment to protect first responders from nuclear disaster consequences, a group of scientists, including a Nobel Prize laureate, has gathered to create a first-of-its-kind protection tool. Well, I-24 News correspondent Shahal Pellet met the pioneers. The nuclear era, whether one considers it a blessing or a curse, has shaped human history for almost a century. Nikolai Ivanovich Titenok was a senior firefighter and one of the victims of the worst ever nuclear disaster at Chernobyl in 1986. 28 emergency workers died from acute radiation syndrome during the first months after the accident, followed by the deaths of more than 25,000 cleanup workers known as liquidators. They received uh uh, lethal doses of uh, radiation and uh, the primary cause of their death was bone marrow failure. When you send a first responder such as a firefighter or someone in a bomb squad to um, take care of a situation where there's radioactive uh, uh, leakage in the form of gamma radiation, they're currently going in with zero protection. Indeed, according to the American Department of Labor, no equipment currently exists to protect against gamma radiation. Chernobyl's disastrous follow-up, the catastrophic meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear power plant in March 2011, in addition to global nuclear proliferation, inspired Israeli biologist Dr. Oren Milstein to develop a technique used to save those who risk everything to save us. Just by protecting bone marrow, we can uh, essentially uh more than double the radiation resistance of the individual in the face of radiation. You're wearing something that uh, has been engineered to protect your bone marrow. And uh, the internal structure of this uh, seemingly simple product is uh, very sophisticated, and it reflects the anatomy of your pelvic bone marrow. One of the first scientists introduced to this concept was Nobel laureate Aaron Chekhanovel, now a member of STEMRAD's scientific advisory board. I was hit first by the simplicity. Wow, it's ingenious. You know, lead is known to protect you from irradiation. You have to protect the main part of your bone marrow, the main factory, not even in the long bones, just the, the hips, the shoulders, the vertebra, and that's it. And uh, you can save your life. The need to protect against radiation is becoming increasingly important as populations gradually expand into the vicinity of nuclear power plants across the world. And that's very true of France, for instance, where about 77% of its energy is generated uh, by nuclear power plants. With clients in Russia, Japan and Israel and more pending worldwide, the founders are confident that in an unfortunately inevitable future incident, STEMRAD will work and stem the radiation. Given the historical scenarios of Hiroshima, Nagasaki and Chernobyl and, and Fukushima recently, we can say with confidence that it would save uh, the great majority of affected individuals. I trust 100% that it's going to work.